David, we're about to talk about the LC52. It, it, looks, it looks a fantastic product, I must say, but what is this? Uh, this is uh, sort of the next adaptation, if you like, of the, of the laser control that we've, that we've already seen. Um, and this is a solution that's uh, really set up for mill-turn machines. So, uh, so effectively what we're doing is we're measuring the milling tools uh, with the laser system and then the turning tools we still measure with a traditional tactile probe, on this case is called TC76. And what's the benefit, because surely, I know there's only one insert, but you could measure this on the laser still? Yes, you, you can. We, we can actually measure uh, such a tool on, uh, using the laser system, but because we want to trigger on the highest point of the tool, we have to do a scan across the cutting edge to ensure that the trigger signal that we record or the, the position we record is the highest point of the tool. And that takes time, that's cycle time. Uh, so if customers are really chasing cycle time, still the better solution for measuring these sort of tools is with a mechanical touch probe. And can that be said of all lasers, not just balloon, but all lasers? Yes, that's, that's commonplace. You, with, with a laser system, you can always measure any, any point, as we've said earlier, we can measure any point on the tool. Um, but really, it's about speed, it's about cycle time, that if a customer's really chasing seconds, um, we still uh, find that we can do it much, much faster doing it with a, a tactile system. So we're talking about, like if it's a multi-flute tool, like an end mill or, or solid carbide drill, we're going to use the laser. Yeah. But maybe, like you mentioned, this is, this is a boring head, a single insert. You, this is, this is when we would use it. Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay, give it a go. I know it's a fast process, but it let's is. take a look. It doesn't take long, so here we go. And there you see, I see quick in measurement, and we've got the data to write up to the tool table straight away. Okay, so that's, you know, it's probably a second, no, no more. Yeah. How long could that take on a laser, potentially? It depends on, on the tool geometry, it depends on the machine tool, but I think you're still looking at least twice as fast doing it with a mechanical system, maybe more, maybe even more than that. So why is it all integrated into one piece? Because some of your older technology could measure this equally as well, maybe? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. I mean, effectively, we're looking at two separate products here. We're looking at laser control and we're looking at a tactile tool setting system. So you could have two independent units doing the same thing. The problem that gives you is you have two independent units trying to measure, so therefore we have a difference in the calibration positions of those two. So when a customer measures his milling tools, he will get a mismatch between the milling tools and the turning tools. The, be the beauty of the LC52, because it's one combined unit using one skip signal and one set of calibration data, it means that we have the two units, the two separate units tied as one common unit. So therefore, you're getting a, a, a controlled measurement that's stable across both your milling and your turning tools.